Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today we've got the Quest single induction hob. During this COVID-19 lockdown, I'm sure you're all self-isolating, so obviously doing a lot more cooking at home while we can't get to the restaurants. Um, this I managed to pick up on eBay. I'll put a picture in the screen. Um, this is the item itself. Now I will say it does look very nice. It's a high gloss black finish with white accents. The buttons are white. Um, I think it's got a glass top on it. If it's not glass, then it must be some type of highly polished uh, plastic. But I think it's glass. I'm going to go with glass. It certainly feels like it. You've got the buttons along the front, indicating the minimum and the maximum temperature, which you can set up and down. Um, the underneath, as you can see here, is a black plastic. I've got it sat on top of my old electric hob. And if you're in my my position and you, your only other option is these electric hobs, then you might understand my frustrations. These take what seems to be an eternity to warm up or to get up to temperature. Um, I'm using some bacon today as an example for you. And I'll use an egg later as well, just to give you a little uh, sample of how this works and how quickly it works. But just going back to what I was saying, um, on that actual electric hob, it is so slow to get up to temperature. It really, really, it sort of defeats the purpose of making a quick sandwich. And sometimes everybody just wants a quick sandwich, especially if you're on the go or you need to get out and about, you need to get it on with. You don't want to sit waiting 10 minutes for it to preheat. So anyway, if we just lift it up, and underneath you can see it's got a heat distribution fan. It's got the four the four legs um, on either side of it, which will which will obviously elevate it above your worktop or your kitchen top. I've just got it placed in between the four hub rings, so obviously there's plenty of uh, air circulation there. Just be aware of that before you use it. Your cable they give you a generous length on there. I think there's around about a meter. Uh, possibly a little bit more than that. I haven't measured it, I will be honest. I'm just going to plug it in here. When you plug it in, you've got the nice uh, red backlit LED digital screen in the middle of the device. You've got your buttons for your minimum temperature and your maximum. And uh, obviously on the top, you've got your hob rings. And this can accommodate the smaller pans, uh, the smaller saute pans or stew pots and obviously it goes on the outer ring a little bit bigger i'm sorry i haven't got the measurements for you uh i might be able to check that and get back to you but obviously if you've got an induction device if you've got an induction pan or an induction pot then it will work on here as long as it's not too big or too small when you turn the device on you've got the option of um setting the power so when you press the on button you then have to press the function button. Now, bear with me here because this was the first time that I'd tried it out and uh, I was learning like you will be if you're watching this for the first time. So what you're supposed to do is press the power button and then you press the function button. And this will automatically set at 1,200 watts. That's the default setting. Now, you can increase this or you can decrease it. The lowest setting it will accept is 200 watts. And the highest temperature you can go up to is 2,000 watts. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm putting a little bit of oil into the pan. And I'm going to get some bacon. Turn the light on there. Get some bacon and pop that in. And remember, we're at 1,200 watts. And already, I can tell you that this is actually quite warm. It takes literally 10 to 30 seconds to heat up. Obviously, it won't be up to temperature in that time but it will be up to temperature in about a minute to two minutes. It really is that quick. And as I'm putting my hand over the top, I can feel the heat immediately. And I'm just going to turn the heat up all the way up to 2000. Now, obviously, this is an extreme demonstration. You probably wouldn't need that temperature for most items. But we're just doing a very quick demonstration to quickly fry off the bacon. So I've put it up to maximum temperature. When you put it in, you know you can't hear the sizzle at the minute because I'm actually voice-overing this. Um, but there is a good sizzle. And the bacon is obviously cooking in that oil quite nicely. Just to let you know, there is a little annoying thing that happens. When you take the pan off the induction, it will beep. And when it beeps at you, 
it's indicating that the pan's left the surface and you need to put it back on. So for people like me who like to take the pan away from the hob quite a lot, um, that might be a little bit of an annoyance. It certainly annoys me. But once you put it back on top of the hob, uh, it'll stop beeping and it'll continue. Now I'm touching the edges here and I can tell you the edges actually keep quite cool to the touch. In fact, they don't heat up whatsoever. The only heat uh, that is generated is inside of that white line, those white ring lines. So I'll just uh, pause here. Literally seconds, seconds to heat up. Whereas if I was using the traditional hob, the electric hob, um, it would have took easy five minutes to heat up. So I'm really, really impressed with this so far. Look at that. Instantly, the bacon is getting cooked. Look at that. Can you see that? Let me just show you that. Look at that. It's fantastic. So you can see the bacon cooking off really nicely there. And also, did you hear those beeps when I took it off the hob? That's what it will do if you remove the pan. It'll beep at you as if to say, put me back. I'm not cooking anymore. Uh, and the electricity isn't going from the device into the bottom of the pan. Uh, and it's just a little prompt, but it is very annoying. Hope that's not affecting the video too much. So we've got max and minimum. These are your temperature settings. The max, as I say, is 2000. You can currently see the minimum. If you press and hold it, it'll take you to the minimum immediately. If you press and hold the max, it'll take you up to the max immediately. So there you've got 2000. Obviously, for the benefit of this video, cooking at 2000 has got the baking up temperature far quicker than it would if you cooked it at a lower temperature. But that's obviously entirely up to you, how you cook and stuff. Um, here it's at 1,800, and you can also mess about with other settings, which I'm not going to go into because I don't know what to do with it. I think this is going from watts uh, to Fahrenheit or degrees. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not sure. All I ever set it on is the watts function, and I normally have it around 12 to 1,400 watts. And that cooks off quite nicely. Obviously, having it at 2,000 watts, you are at danger of uh, burning the bottom of the pan or burning some of the non-stick coating. But I'm a little bit of a, a little bit of a risky guy like that, and I just like to get on with the cooking process. And I really like my bacon like this. You can see it's really brown and almost burnt, um, but I really like it like that. But a little bit more pat oil in the pan, obviously, can remedy the situation and stop it from burning over too quickly. I'm going to add a, an egg in here now. As you can see, that goes in quite nice. Now, as you can see, the egg is cooking just fine. I'm going to... I'm just going to take the bacon out of the pan now, so I've got more room. It's always a little bit tricky when you're using a spatula to take the bacon out without trying to touch it, but in the end I had to admit defeat and uh, just use the finger. Um, we can concentrate on just cooking the egg now. Then I have a wood on the old uh, pop that I've got. I'll spin this round. Look at that. Now I don't know why, but on the old, on this electric hob, that that egg would have not got to that temperature as fast at all. It wouldn't it wouldn't have cooked like that so quickly. Yeah, it seems to me that the old electric hobs uh, underneath the uh, one that I'm using they're really old and they're really slow. And you probably share my pain if you've got one at home. But that's the primary reason why I bought this induction hob. It really just gets up to temperature so quickly. It's fantastic. But this look, I'm touching the outer edges and it's really cool. There's no heat there. There's there's hardly any re any residual heat coming from the middle uh, to the surrounding edges. So it really just pumps the heat directly into the bottom of the pan, which is great. Turn this off now. Uh, 
I know the ones that love a sunny side up egg will be going crazy at this, but I'm really not one of those type of people. I like my egg pretty hard all the way through. So I turn it over, flip it a few times, and I like that yellow nice and solid as, long, as well as the white as well. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up around about here. Uh, I do ramble on on the video a little bit more, so I've done a voiceover just to, just to slow things down a little bit. Uh, and just to make things a little bit more clearer. So, yeah, I hope everyone's taking good care during this uh, current national pandemic that we're, well, global pandemic that we're all suffering through together. But it is important to stay at home, protect our NHS, um, and just tell the government guidelines, really. I will be trying my best to get some more content created and uploaded as quickly as I can. I know I have been having little gaps in between. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this little uh, device. I think it's really handy. It's really cheap. And if you like me with the old induction, the old electric gas hobs, the old electric hobs underneath, sorry, then this obviously could be for you. So stay safe, stay tuned, like and subscribe, and I'll see you sometime in the very near future. All the best.